At that time, there came to Jesus some Sadducees, those who deny that there is a resurrection. And they asked him a question, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies, having a wife but no children, the man must take the widow and raise up offspring for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first took a wife and died without children, and the second and the third took her, and likewise all seven left no children and died. Afterwards, the woman also died. In the resurrection, therefore, whose wife will the woman be? For the seven had her as wife. And Jesus said to them, The sons of this age marry and are given in marriage. But those who are considered worthy to attain to that age and to the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage, for they cannot die any more, because they are equal to angels and are sons of God, being sons of the resurrection. But that the dead are raised, even Moses showed in the passage about the bush, where he calls the Lord the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. Now he is not God of the dead, but of the living, for all live to him. Then some of the scribes answered, Teacher, you have spoken well, for they no longer dared to ask him any question. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, there's an incident told about Sam Boyle, who worked as a missionary in Japan. He could not manage to speak Japanese. He knew only English. So he had to hire a Japanese person who could translate his English sermons into Japanese. So the only person he could find was one Japanese man who was not a Christian, working in a nearby school. So he hired him and this man also agreed to translate his sermons. Sam Boyle felt his ministry was going on very well until the third week there came a point in his sermon and he said and on the third day Jesus rose from the dead. To this immediately this Japanese looked at him and said ah they are not going to believe this. They are not going to believe this and I cannot say it. Dear sisters and brothers this is a typical case of a person who does not have the gift of faith and without the gift of faith he cannot believe in the resurrection. In the gospel today, we have this sad disease who do not believe in the resurrection and they are asking this question. What happens to the woman who is married to the seven brothers and in the resurrection whose wife will she be and to answer this question Jesus is giving them a glimpse of heaven the Sadducees in the first place did not believe in the resurrection and secondly you know they accepted approved and believed only in the first five books of the scripture that is Genesis Exodus Leviticus Numbers and Deuteronomy. You know, they were, or rather, the problem was exposed in the very beginning itself. In the book of Exodus, chapter 3, verse 6, what we hear in the uh, gospel today, Jesus telling what is referred to in the book of Exodus, wherein Yahweh tells Moses, I am the God of the living, not of the dead. 
I am the God of Abraham, Isaac and of Jacob. God is referring to this relationship because these men are alive before him. That itself is proof enough of a new life, but they could not grasp it. And it is mentioned in the first five books of the Bible itself. And they had another visual of the heavenly life, or rather the vision which they tried to understand through the earthly life. And Jesus is clarifying that in the resurrection, if we are found worthy, we will not be given into marriage because our relationship with God will be the only relationship there and that will be the perfect relationship because we will all be transformed as angels there. That is the kind of heavenly life Jesus is pointing to and that is what we are all called to live, dear brothers and sisters. Just like this Japanese or the Sadducees, perhaps, you know, we have our own doubts about the resurrection. Is there a resurrection? Whether we like it or not, whether we personally believe it or not, the Lord has risen from the dead and he has won new life for us. So it's better for us to overcome all the speculations and to believe in the new life and in the resurrection. As St. Paul beautifully tells in his second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 17, God has reconciled the world to himself through his son, Jesus. And anyone and if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old order has passed away and the new one has come in. So also for us who through the gift of faith believe in the Lord's resurrection are called to live a new life of resurrection. You are called to you know, rise from the tombs of our sinfulness, of our selfishness, our narrow-mindedness, of our own weaknesses because the Lord assures us of a new life. We pray during this Holy Eucharist that we may not lay buried in our old ways but as St. Paul invites us, let us become a new creation and look to the things that are above.